Hey guys, so Pride Month was back in June and I just wanted to share some of the history of Pride and some of my own story. Uh, first with the history, as we all know, about 51 years ago in New York, Stonewall riots had happened due to uh, the lack of uh, human rights for the gay community and then that was also led by the gay community and Margaret P. Johnson I believe is her name also was involved with that which is, she's an African American trans woman and so that happened and then a year later we would have the first Pride Month March and this year, even though with coronavirus happening, there was a lot of virtual pride uh, events going on with various organizations, and that was really cool. Um, I know Chicago ended up canceling its own pride march, but we ended up uh, having a Black Lives Matter uh, protest during the last month of, uh, or the last day of the month for June. So check this video out real quick. Um, I was involved with that parade, so here's a couple little snippets from that. In this march, I want you to visualize a reimagined world. I want you to leave and think of what this world could look like. I want you to work towards that world where trans people can be trans, where black people can be black, where anyone can identify as any gender, where anyone can be Genders and 
about two years ago, I finally publicly came out on Facebook to a lot of my friends and family who didn't know that I'm a loud and proud bisexual. Uh, for me, this year, Pride was a bit different because, like I said, um, I was part of this protest, you know, and this march that we did peacefully against uh, Black Lives Matter for Black Lives Matters and against police brutality and see that happening with grassroots organizations uh, it really brought us back to the sense of history that happened over 51 years ago that we did have a lot of grassroots orgs coming together and there was less corporatization as you would say with Pride Parade as it has been over the last span of the last decade or so. So to feel that and then for you to like see that um, and the little sequence that I had just put together for you um, was really awesome to be a part of, you know, and to be a part of the queer community at large. I hope wherever you're, you're viewing this video that if you're a fellow bisexual like myself that know that you're valid in your own sexual identity that you're loved, that it doesn't take a scholarly um, paper or research to know that you're bisexual or gay or lesbian or trans or non-binary and that uh, yeah we might have our own month but uh, pride for me is knowing who you are and living it out your most authentic self, regardless of what other people might say about you. And I hope that even if you haven't come out in the closet, that my story is just something that's encouraging to you. Um, and I know in certain countries, if you do come out, there's uh, legal implications upon that, including death. Um, so, um, privileged to live in America and knowing that I could be comfortable in my own sexual identity and just wanted to share a bit of history of my own self, a bit of pride history in this video and where we're at as a community at large. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe to my channel comment about your own story within the comments. I'd love to read them and reply to as many. And I hope this video finds you well. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next one.